Hey, good day to everybody out there. Hope you guys are doing well. So all the images from the times of the colonial days in the American Revolution and the beginning of our country, we know those faces from paintings. And one of the most notable painters back then was Gilbert Stuart. Um, the one on the left is obviously Martha Washington. And uh, this was a painting that uh, she had commissioned in 1796 from uh, Gilbert Stuart. Now, she also had commissioned one of George, so he was doing both of those at the same time. Now, both of those portraits uh, were never finished, and no one really knows why they had never finished those, well, he never finished those. And when Gilbert Stuart died in 1828, uh, those paintings were handed down to his family, and all those two unfinished paintings of Martha and George actually uh, sit at the Boston Athenaeum today. Now, uh, Martha was very close to George. You know, she traveled probably probably through half the American Revolution with him. And when she wasn't with him, he had written her many letters. And when he died, uh, I think she burned most of all those letters. Now, um, you know, the, the paintings that she had commissioned them to sit, you know, George didn't even want to even sit through half of those. I think it was like 75 portraits he sat for. You know, he was uh, fighting a war and trying to get this country started. But uh, I think she knew the importance of what those paintings would be. Now, the portrait of the right was also done by Gilbert Stewart. And it's uh, Dolly Madison, wife of President James Madison. Now, it just goes to show you how amazing history is. Um, Aaron Burr would actually introduce Dolly Madison to James Madison. And it was Aaron Burr who would later shoot and kill Alexander Hamilton in the famous duel. But a lot of people don't know, Dolly was actually a widow at 25 before she met James. Her first husband had died of yellow fever in Philadelphia in the in the 1790s. And um, she was actually, when she married James, um, she was a hostess of the White House under uh, Thomas Jefferson's presidency. And this portrait was done in 1804 as um, her husband James had commissioned from Gilbert Stuart. Now, a lot of people know the famous story of Dolly Madison, saving, saving the uh, portrait of George Washington. Now, that was called the Lansdowne Portrait. Now, um, Gilbert Stewart had done that Lansdowne Portrait as well. But that wasn't the original. The original Lansdowne Portrait was done for William Petty, who lived in the province of Lansdowne in England, who was a big supporter of the American Revolution. And it actually sat in Great Britain for 170 years. And it's now, the that original Lansdowne portrait sits at the National Portrait Gallery at the Smithsonian. And the one that, the one that Dolly would save in the fire during the War of 1812 was actually a, a copy. And he, had, he did four Lansdowne portraits. Now the one at the White House and he did two other ones for private, for private uh, sellers or buyers. And one sits at the Brooklyn Museum, and one at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. Now, the one that was in the White House that Dolly saved. Now, the story is it was during the War of eighteen twelve, and Great Britain was trying to burn down the White House. Um, now the, that portrait is eight foot by five foot, and it had a big giant wooden frame around it. And she couldn't get it down. So she obviously had to get help to get it down. But couldn't get the portrait out of the frame. So they busted the frame. And she rolled that painting up. And handed it to two military officers or you know guards or whatever at that time. As they raced it out of the White House. But she knew the importance of that portrait. And um, you know that... Like I said, that's not the original, though. That was the second copy that he made. 
And uh, this portrait of Dolly Madison um, was purchased by the White House in 1994. And that sits in the White House along with, that port with the Lansdowne portrait that she had saved during the War of 1812. So history is just amazing. I absolutely love it. And that's all for today. Um, I appreciate you guys as always, man. Uh, have a great day. We'll catch up with you later. Peace.